What's going on everyone? Today we are looking at the Logan e-bike helmet by X Needle. This is an e-bike helmet with a built-in front and rear LED lights. First and foremost, here is my old helmet that I typically use. I've had this one for about three years now. I got this one because it was well priced and had good reviews on Amazon. But what I think a lot of people, including myself, failed to take into consideration is that this is a bike helmet. Not an e-bike helmet, bike helmet. Standard helmets are typically only what is called CPSC certified, meaning they are only tested to protect you up to 17 miles per hour. They might be okay for faster speeds, but there is no test done for that, so you really don't know. Then what we have here is the X Needle e-bike helmet. This one actually has what is called a NTN776 certification, which makes this an e-bike rated helmet that has been further tested to make sure it still protects you at speeds up to 28 miles per hour. Again, it may even be good at speeds beyond that, but that is just where the certification tests stop at. So if you are someone with an e-bike and wearing a helmet like this one here, chances are your helmet might actually be more of a prop. It gives you the idea and thought that you're riding safe, but when you actually wipe out at 20 miles per hour plus, chances are it's not going to protect you the way you thought it would. Are e-bike helmets more expensive? Absolutely, but again, are you buying a helmet for looks or protection? You already spent more than $1,000 on your e-bike. A helmet is not the place you want to cheap out on. I'm not saying you have to get this one, but just make sure you get a helmet that is NTA8776 certified. And that'll make sure you have the protection you actually need. All right, so now we got the helmet lesson out of the way. Let's get back to actually looking at the X Needle Logan helmet itself. This is a rechargeable helmet with both a front white LED and a rear red LED here. It charges via a micro USB port right here. I do wish it was USB-C as micro USB is pretty old now, but it is what it is. Coming around back, you have this button that activates it and you have a strobing mode steady mode and this cool flowing effect mode no matter what mode you're on you're always going to have this bright white led up front to give you more visibility i took a few videos so you can see how bright these lights actually are at night even at more than 40 feet away they were still extremely visible this in combination with my arc light pedals there's no way someone can miss me riding this helmet weighs 375 grams, which is only 25 grams more than my old non-e-bike certified helmet. So it's still very light. Never once did I notice the increase of weight or feel uncomfortable any of my rides at all. Overall, this is a very stylish helmet that looks different from any other helmet on the market and kind of looks more like a skateboard helmet. This one here is a yellow and gray color that my wife chose, but it also comes in black, gray, white and a few other unique color designs as well with the helmet it also includes this visor that goes up front it attaches with velcro back here and is removable personally i don't use it so i usually ride without it lastly they also recently started selling a add-on winter liner attachment a few days ago it was about 32 degrees here in chicago and it definitely helped provide some warmth and keep the wind off my head typically i throw a beanie hat under the helmet but this solves that problem and makes it integrated into your helmet itself. Overall, this is a very solid helmet. It feels well built, provides more visibility to both the front and the back, and more importantly, is certified for us e-bike riders. I have no regrets and it's definitely a good helmet. The price may fluctuate, but right now this helmet is actually on sale. I also posted a promo code in the description, so if you're interested in this helmet, this will be the perfect time to buy it. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll do what I can to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.